Welcome to another episode of Wrist Watch Overhauling. This time, we got a package all the way from China. Let's see what's inside. And by the way, my name is Sean Korb. I'm brand new to this hobby, and I'm happy you're here with me on this journey to start getting into watches. Based on the title of this video, I'm sure you already know what's inside. Um, we have a time grapher. Uh, that I ordered all the way from China because it was a little bit cheaper, it took a little bit longer to get here, but we need it, so we bought it. Let me know in the comments below if you don't mind buying all the way from a different country. Anyone ever notice when you buy things from China, it's packaged just a little different than the way we do it over here in the United States? All right, let's cut into this box, take a look at this time grapper. I have not opened this box, as you can see yet, so it'll be a surprise to me how it looks. Sometimes ordering things overseas, you don't know what you're going to get, but so far looking pretty good. We got our manual here. So as you can see from the manual, we picked up the Wishi 1900 which is a upgraded version from the Wishi 1000. You see those more commonly. So far, I'm very happy with the way it's uh, packaged. Everything looks safe. Everything looks brand new, so I'm, I'm happy so far. So this piece right here is the microphone. This is what uh, will feed all the data and all the sound to the unit to give us all the data that we would need to find out about the watch. And that is how it plugs in to the back. And here we have the actual unit. Uh, very nice looking, very simple, basic. Is there anyone else out there that just loves the smell of brand new electronics being opened? I ran an electronics business for 13 years and I don't know, it just still gets me to open up something new electronic and that smell that, that it has is just wonderful to me. And now for the fun part, getting it plugged in. Let's get this plug open. So as you can see, simple plug, but the nice thing, it does have an on-off switch. Uh, so don't forget to turn that on when you do plug it in, because sometimes you do. And on the back, real simple, power, microphone, and it does have a uh, frequency calibration. Not sure what that does yet. All right, let's go ahead and get this plugged in. Get it up and running, test it out, make sure everything's working good. Let's plug in the microphone. And like any other microphone jack, you want to make sure that you're plugging it in correctly and not to damage the plug uh, as a groove that fits in only one way. So be careful when you're plugging that in. All right, let's get these wires all situated here. And it's actually a really nice unit. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy so far. That's the manual that it comes with. We'll take a look at that later. So the great thing about these uh, time graphers is it gives us lots of information on a watch. It gives us our rate, amplitude, beat error, uh, to let us know what we need to do to make sure the watch is running correctly. All right, let's uh, get a watch on here and get it all turned on and see what it does. So with the microphone, you can set it in many different uh, orientations, but basically it's just spring-loaded, and you can set the watch or even the movement just by itself in here. And let's go ahead and get it started. All 
All right, the Wishi 1900's doing a beat rate auto detect. And let's see what this watch does. And while it's doing its thing here, uh, I do need to read through this manual, do a little bit of research on it, uh, find out about it. I know you can adjust the lift angle. There's lots of different ways to set this up to give you the correct information that you need. But also just a very nice manual. I mean, I can actually read through it and understand what it says. Sometimes when you're buying things from China, they come with instruction manuals that doesn't make a lot of sense, so that's good. All right, so as you can see, this watch isn't doing too good. Uh, right now it's reading, losing 19 seconds a day, uh, amplitude of 177 degrees, which is not good. Uh, but this is one of my personal watches I've had for a couple years and one of the ones that I plan on working on, so I'm sure you'll see this in a video later. All right, let's get this stopped here and look into the menu a little bit. Got the beat rate, lift angle, uh, that's the one that we need to set per watch, uh, period, graph circle, so it's a color one. Uh, the, the 1000 is the one that's not color, so that's part of the upgrade of this. Of course, language in English, brightness. So yeah, so it's got a lot of good features in here. All right, so that's the Wishi 1900. Pretty excited about this unit. Next video will be a tutorial, so please be sure to subscribe and like this video. Thanks.